Okay, we're live. I'm thinking of something. The connection. Hey, we're here. We're live. That's pretty crazy. Cool. Can you hear me? No? Alright, let's call this something else. Fear Addict Craig's List Hunt. All right, so we're back here now. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm just doing a, a testing live thing. I, I We all search Craigslist enough for deals and stuff like that, and we've done a lot of flipping in the past, and it's just a, a habit of mine to check Craigslist and what's out there, see some funny things, see some cool, interesting things, and just the ludicrous, the ludicrosity, is that a word? I'm not sure. The ludicrosity? The ludicrosity? I don't know. Just the crazy stuff you find on Craigslist, especially in the music instrument section and everything else. So I just want to do this every so often, just kind of uh, stream on YouTube, find some stuff, go over some cool things that I see, and just uh, maybe you guys can do the same thing. It'd be fun. So, uh, let's see here. I don't know what that is. Go back here. So it's live. Sweet. Um, how do we tell everybody what's going on here? That's what I want to know. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to do the live thing. Check this out. What's up, everybody? I'm currently streaming on YouTube. We're doing a Craigslist hunt. Just uh, if you want to come hang on Craigslist with me on YouTube Live, go to the YouTube channel. The uh, link should be in the bio for a video on there, I think. Um, if not, just uh, search Gear Addict on YouTube. I'll be there. And we're going over some cool stuff. And yeah, be fun times. I don't like that. Everybody viewing me live right now is making me look. I'm gonna look like an idiot, but whatever, it's fine. No, and that's my son messing with a whole bunch of stuff. You shouldn't be messing with, sir. What's up, everybody? We're on YouTube Live, going over some Craigslist hunting, and everybody's interrupting my stuff, but that's the way it goes. So, go to Gear Attic YouTube. I'll be there live, going over Craigslist. It'll be fun. See you there. Let's see here. Oh, crap. Okay, you guys, out of here, please. Alright, so the Instagram, everybody's notified. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Should be interesting, should be fun. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're back here to the Craigslist. So, I don't know what you guys do a lot, but I'll just start off in my own city, and then I'm willing to, depending on the deal, I'm willing to drive upwards of like, I don't know, 50 to 100 miles. Actually, funny story is I found uh, something on the Facebook Marketplace, it wasn't Craigslist, but it was my second Sapphire Pro 40 Focusrite interface. The dude was sent on for like a buck sixty, and it was a good deal, it was like almost brand new looking, and I needed eight more channels, because I have my drum set behind me, wherever that one is, um, and all that, so yeah, I drove to LA and back, Glendale, as a matter of fact, so that was exciting, but anyways, so I don't know, the, the big thing that I always do, just search by owner, because sometimes you'll get like music stores, and then you got a lot of these things right here, um, these things right here, the, the record, mix, DJ live perform, recording studio stuff, it's just not what I'm looking for, I'm looking for stuff things to buy. Um, so yeah, that's one tip is always go to owner rather than all. Rarely will you find stuff. I mean, Drum Flip is a major store around here. Oh, stop, Oliver. Gosh, he's going to blind himself. Go, go. So Drum Flip is a major store down here. And basically, yeah, you'll, um, <laughs> you'll see all of that uh, on Craigslist like crazy. So that's a thing that's happening. So let's see here. Who's here? You know what? I'm going to drag this out. How do I do this? 
Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Let's go bottom left, top left. I guess that works. That works. We're working. Yay! All right, cool. So yeah. So anyways, so we're just on here. No big deal. And uh, so yeah, go by owner. Always the best thing to do. Now, if you're looking for specific stuff, like I don't. I play multiple instruments, so I'm never looking for just drums or just guitar or amps or drum sets or cymbals or whatever. I'm just looking for stuff usually that either I'm, if I'm in the mood to buy something for myself, I will. If not, I'll just be perusing for good deals because that's what happens on Craigslist. But let's let's see here. So what we got here? We got a couple of things. So notice you'll see like there's a lot of band and orchestra instruments. So you'll see like this whole thing pop up where these all these instruments and like lots and lots of saxophones. I don't know why that is, but there's a ton of saxophones on Craigslist at any given moment in time. And they're, they're ranging from like 60 bucks like this violin here. It's only a half size violin, by the way. Um, and good luck pronouncing this name. I'm not even sure what that thing is. That's pretty nuts. What is this? Sajedi Hangs of your yard? Guy hangs your yard. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm even looking at here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, violin's half size, weird. But you'll see, yeah, there's a lot of saxophones and stuff. So, that's the way that normally happens like that. Uh, okay, what else we got? Lots of custom stuff, like this guy in the middle. You'll see the custom 250 head and 412 cab or whatever. It's a. Uh, yeah, customs all right. They're if you're looking for cheap stuff and vintagey kind of vibes or whatever, then you know that's a thing. Oh, we should probably change this. Uh, let's see here. Lots of drinks here. I'm just sharing to the old Facebook. All right, let's see here. Well, hey, person, whoever's here, feel free to drop a chat or something. I'm here. Um, let's see here. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so another thing you guys have noticed, there's like literally a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of PA stuff all the time. It's always, usually it's pretty cheap stuff. So um, it's just weird. <laughs> like... I don't know what it is about people buying PA equipment um, or whatever, but I don't, know. I don't know what this stuff is. Okay, so we got the TKL Acoustic Band. TKL, for you guys that don't know, is a very good case brand. Uh, we sold them at Guitar Center quite a bit, and rarely did people actually like return them because they're really, really solid ABS molded plastic, and they're on the cheap end of things. So if you're looking for a new case or whatever, if you want something just off the shelf that's good, but is also pretty cheap, TKL makes some good stuff. Aha! See? Our first saxophone. That's the thing. I told you. <laughs> it's a vintage cleat. Like, okay, so if anybody's watching out there, if you guys watch this, just comment or whatever. What is the infatuation with vintage saxophones? Like, how do they demand so much money sometimes? I just don't understand. I mean, it's like any instrument that demands money when they're old, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. All right, what else we got here? Oh, what's this? 1950. Okay, that's another thing is vintage amps that are good or no good. I don't really know exactly the difference. Um, oh my gosh. Oliver, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to join my stream? You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Say hi. So you can see yourself over there. Yeah, they got me. Okay, well, say hi to my son. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see here. What else we got? Um, so, again, you guys have seen, so I don't even know what. So, Vintage Amps, this thing's, the guy wants 980 bucks for this thing. It's in Point Loma, which is pretty close. Uh, the bird logo on the grill, three and three, put two, let's see. Ooh, that looks really tangled. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not, but it looks pretty messy. 
let's see, what is this? So the guys had it reconed. I mean, is that a maple cabinet? What is this thing? Let's see. I don't know. It might be a maple cabinet. I don't know if you guys know that or not. But uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to do this. Alright, cool. That's done. Oh, no this is done. Okay, don't poke. Oh my gosh, poke my eye. Don't do that. Uh, okay, so, anyways. Let's see here. So rare fender, okay, so this is another one, the rare, the, the vintage fenders, right? So everybody loves a vintage fender, and again, not exactly so sure what demands all of these dollars for these things, but this looks pretty nice. It's got the crazy floral tweed thing going on, the leather tool. I'm done. Wait, is this a vintage one, or is this a new one? This is a very good condition vintage Vibro King, if that's the case, but it looks... I feel like that's brand new. <laughs> rare Fender Western Vibro King. Let's see here. Oh, selling extremely rare. Oh, one of 25 NAM special. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Also, if you, I'm doing this first with a bunch of different stuff. So let me know if you um, yeah. can hear me <laughs> and hear that. Because I need to make sure that you guys can hear me. I'm Okay, I'm middle of doing stuff, bro. What are you doing? But watch your TVs with Mama. I don't want to watch other people's TVs. All right, let's see. Price is firm at 3900 That's pretty crazy. Uh, I guess one of 25 ever made is a thing. But I feel like, okay, feel me out. I feel like you could ask the custom shop to make you one of these for probably less money than $3,900. I'm, I'm just guessing. I don't know how that works, but it could be a thing. Uh, what else? Let's see here. Oh, yeah, and then you get into all this other stuff where you see people like selling these cheap tuners right here on the left Where it's like 12 bucks for tuners. So you're telling me I gotta drive to University City for a $12 tuner like Amazon maybe I mean there's plenty of good tuners out there But and you'll see too. Yeah, there's recording studio stuff. I think this is Exum Studios if I remember correctly Exum recording. Yeah, fun story about that. So Exum recording is in Escondido where it shows up on the map here um, but my band actually rented a lockout from Scott this guy um, long long time ago like 2010 and uh, it was just a mess like it, <laughs> it was kind of crazy he'd have everybody coming in and everybody was doing their thing but it was just like it was one of those really good rock and roll studios so weird enough I don't know but um, that's funny seeing that I'm funny seeing they're still in business okay Here's another one, a Sobtech MIG 50H, the Midget 50H, right? 700 bucks. So, let's see here. What makes, uh, let's see here. So, MIG's basically a MIG 50, but it's more of a GAC M800 Santa High Game Master Volume. Ah, all right. Your tongue's full power tubes, I don't know. So I'd imagine 700 bucks just seems like the going price for this amp head. So 50 bucks or 50 watts rather, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, now it looks to be an okay shape, I guess. Nothing crazy there. Yeah, I got the t you know, the tongue soles back there. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's not something I would personally purchase in order to flip. I mean, like I said, need some work to be perfect again. And all that stuff. So um, let's see here. What else? Uh, see, okay, here we go. So when I was mentioning Drum Flip, which is the the local drum shop run by Ed, he's an awesome dude doing a lot of cool things for the drum community. And yeah, it's uh, fun to see his stuff pop up so much on Craigslist. Like I was saying earlier, you you get stores like Drum Flip. He posts all of his stuff cross posted like everywhere. He'll post it in Facebook. He'll post it on Instagram. He'll post it on Craigslist. He'll post it on OfferUp. Like everywhere. And I imagine he does quite a bit of business. So uh, if you guys are in San Diego, hey, I'm doing this. Can you go up, please? Can you go up, please? Yeah, go. 
You need to go. You need to go. I hate you. Well, you're going to go and then I'll be done later. Okay. Well, hey, person. Hi, person who's watching. Hello. Um, so I've been after a, a six-piece DW collector's kit. Now, this is a natural, and honestly, I'd rather spend more money on the higher-end finishes with the more exotic woods. Um, there's a couple on here that are actually pretty dope, but Ed's got a couple of them. So this thing, this thing's pretty cool. Comes with a matching maple snare. Now, if you guys don't know anything about DW, the drum workshop, they're based out of Orange County, basically. Their Oxnard is where their factory is, where they make all their drums. Probably the one of the largest names in drums, for sure. I mean, not other than like Ludwig and Gretsch, who've been around for a bunch of years. But DW's been around since the late, or early or late 90s, I think. And they're basically the premier drum company at this point. If you, if you ever get an endorsement with DW, you're like on the list. So it's great. Um, but this is pretty cool. One thing I don't agree with is the keeping of the crappy heads. If you're demanding $2,500 for a kit, that's sure that might be a good deal. But if just put some new heads on there. That's going to cost you like 50 bucks, And... It'll make the new guy or girl who's buying this drum kit feel better, I think. Um, so, I don't know. But these things sell all the time with their stock heads that are dirty as crap. So, I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, we'll do partial and drum tr full drum trades, which is pretty dope. So, if you've got some cool stuff, um, Ed's super down to, like, trade you <laughs> and give you value. And then, boom, 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 you get yourself a new kit. So, anyways, DW collectors are pretty cool. 2500 bucks. That's about the going rate, honestly, depending on what type of shells these are. Um, maple with re-rings, I don't know if they're... Yeah, they're probably kind of old. So, um, Oliver, can you please go? Please, please. I'm busy and for a minute. Out, please. No, out. Oh, yeah, yay. Go shut the door. Go shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. No, no, no. Yes, go shut the door. Perks of doing this in my house, in my bedroom studio here. Okay, hold on one second, dudes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Hi, yeah. Okay. So, what else? Okay, so look. Um, so, you see this, these rugs, right? And all these kits here. You know, that's how you know it's like a drum flip because he's got the same rug that he displays all the kits on. So he has a lot of roll-on kits, it's pretty cool. I don't know, I just ha don't have a use for the electronic kits because as you can tell, I've got my drum set set up right behind me. And so that's a thing. And, uh, sorry, I gotta shut the door again. Okay, whew. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, so, uh, Craigslist here. Okay, my identity stuff, so, this thing's this stuff's kind of cool. Seven hundred bucks. Yeah, you're you're that's where you're about. You're gonna buy them from. There's he's he's pretty good about pricing of what they're at. Um, sometimes a little more than I would think, but you never know. So basically, yeah, the, my identity was like you could make a custom kit like out of from a list of options, and it wasn't gonna break the bank. So you can see this person got this crazy red hoops with this like this orange sunburst. Uh, what's it called? It reminds him of a Phoenix sunset, uh, like kit, right? And then you've got the red hoops and hardware and then pick your sizes out of a, a, a lineup. And then, yeah, so that's it. 700 bucks. They're not bad. I think they're also maple shells. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, not bad. Yeah. For 700 bucks though, not much margin on that. You're not going to make anything. So, ah, here we go. There's the one I was looking for. So this DW collector's kit, same price, so the only difference being is that this is what's called their finish ply and their finish ply is basically like a wrap. It's a fancy phrase that they've made up for their wraps. And this is like a black mirage. So this is probably one of the more popular ones you're going to see. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a dope looking kit. So you've got three up, two down. And when I mean three up, two down, normally when a drummer says up, down combinations like that, up are going to be rack toms that are mounted on racks, you know, or on cymbal stands. And then the down are going to be the floor toms. So the ones that are like on the floor, the ones that are like mounted lower on like to your sides. Um, so when I, whenever I say, if we do this again, whenever I say up down configuration, that's what I mean. It's like three up, two down. And you've got probably an 8, 10, 12, 
14, 16, I'd imagine. He's probably at the sizes here. But I've been looking for a kit of this, basically, this these dimensions. So 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And the only thing I do not like about these kits is that they have hanging floor toms. So see these mounts? These are like a hundred and something dollars a piece. And you have to get two of them. Because if you have two of those floor toms on one stand, they're going to tip over, like, majority of the time. So that's why he has them on two stands here and everything. And then he's got, like, the, oh, it's a crazy thing. What's cool about these kits, though, is sometimes they come with what's called a virgin kick drum. So if you actually see here in the middle of the, the kick here where there's no mount for the floor tom or the rack toms, um, that's called a virgin kick. It means it hasn't been <laughs> penetrated. Oh, God. That's terrible. I guess that's, I don't know why they came up with that term, but that's what I'm thinking it is. So, but yeah, these things are pretty tight. Cool configuration. Let's see, what size are these? So, 20 by 18, yep. Yeah. So, you've got your 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yep. Uh, so, snare sold. Oh, they had a matching snare, but they sold it. Okay, that's a thing. And then stands included. That's kind of dope, but like I said, eh, I'd rather have floor toms with legs. And what you could do, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my camera's failing. What's happening? Yeah. Okay, can you see me? You can see me. I think you can. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, the only downside... Oh my gosh, I went crazy there for a second. Sorry about that. Um, what you call it? What was I even saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Whatever. 2500 bucks. not bad. I was thinking about purchasing this kit just because I wanted that 3-up, 2-down configuration. All maple shells. Super dope, uh, but look at their black diamond pearl, as he's calling it. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, you're not going to find any wiggle room on that to sell it again, so that's a thing. But if you want to buy it, it seems like an okay price. That's what they're kind of going for. Uh, what else? Innovation uh, bait. At uh, three fifty, eh, you're not going to you're not going to make any money on that either. Now that being said, there's also ways to make money on the cheaper instruments. Right, where you've got these Ibanez sound gear. Yeah, 425 bucks isn't cheap to some people, but in the world of basses, right, it's not going to be very expensive. Um, then you've got all, like, the Squire stuff, depending. So there are, as a lot of you guitar players know, in the used world... Let me fix this. Stupid. Nope. Is that better? I can't tell. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let me check here. Yeah, all right, cool. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram here, it's just at Gear Addict, and the I in Addict is a one. G-E-A-R-A-D-D-1-C-T. Um, that's the main channel outlet with the podcast and everything else, too. So, um, yeah, it's fun times. But subscribe here. I want to do this again. It's going to be kind of fun. So we'll just go over just stuff I see on Craigslist and, you know, recommend good deals and what to buy and what to look for and stuff like that. But... Um, let's see, let's keep going. So, DDJSX, I'm not much of a DJ. I don't know much about the electronic equipment, but um, the SX is one of the more popular ones for sure. And 500 bucks, they're like 850 or 1,000 new, if I'm not mistaken, or at least 800. Um, so, could be a good deal. Oh, here we go. The Yamaha NS10s. So, if you guys don't know what NS10s are, basically they're just the 10-inch cones there. They are revered as the worst, not the worst, but very crappy sounding speakers. Now, you'll notice that turned sideways, they are in plenty of studios around the world. Why? Is because the theory is if you can get them to sound good on the NS10s, any better speakers, aka people's home studios or on your cell phone or headphones, they, it will sound better. So if you can mix on a pair of NS10s as your as your kind of reference and then put them out to better speakers and you kind of do your thing, um, yeah, it's great. Now some of these, depending on how old they are, these ones are going for 500 bucks for the pair, which is depending on when they were made, isn't too bad. Um, but basically, yeah, the oh the original grill covers too. Yeah, there you go. They look like regular bookshelf speakers, which is really weird. But they you take them off and they look like studio staples. So, only thing about these, they need a power amp. You can see they're old like this. So, you need like an actual power amp to plug them in. So, you see the, the old receivers back here, the little wiring. Yeah, that's the thing. 
So NS tens, five hundred bucks for the pair, not bad. But if you, I wouldn't go to them as my first choice. If you already, if you only had set for one pair of monitors in your studio, like I've got my Yamaha HS eights, which are the eight inch, very good sounding speakers. Um, I think you can get them for seven fifty for the pair or so. I love them to death. Had them for like eight years now. So yeah. Anyways, some of these can get up to like twelve hundred bucks for the pair, depending. Like I don't know exactly why, but. Yeah, as the guy says here, it's crucial for any recording studio setup. Yeah, yeah, give or take. You know, if you have the room that you can spare for two sets of speakers. Um, let's see here, twenty-eight. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Not any wiggle room in this. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make any money. Maybe fifty to hundred bucks if you can talk this guy down. But after watching Fluff, like Ryan Bruce, his channel, everything and all the obsession he has with. The Gibson RD series, like, I feel like I want one now. Like, he's done a very good job at, like, talking them up, and he's like, they're great, and they look cool, and they're different, and look at all these specs, and, like, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. I figure maybe down the line I'll, I'll pick one up at some point, but probably the more the vintage ones, because the, the newer ones are cool, but there's something swaggerish about those vintage RDs, especially the Artist series, or the Aorist, as these are called. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't advise buying that. That's a chunk of dough. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Oh, yeah. Then we got the pedal board part outs. That happens too. Um, sometimes you can get good deals, depending if they, they want to list their pedals separately. Sometimes people, like like you said, give it a price. Here's what it is for all. Um, and then he's listed them out separately. The Yeah, the steel string clean drive is pretty dope. 175 Yeah, it's all right. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. ISO 5, yeah, Voodoo Lab Power, the red button. Let's see here. Is that the red button? Which one is that? I don't know. Oh, is it lagging? It's probably lagging, huh? No. Uh -oh. Stream settings. Gotta change this. All right. Hey, what's up, people? Hey, it's lagging a bit. I think that's not good. Uh, let's see here. Good connection. Okay, we got good connection. I don't know. All right. Anyways, so yeah, you can you can find some good deals. Just the one thing about I love about Craigslist is that it's negotiation, right? Like the, they, it's there. This is what we want for said piece of gear, but you can always negotiate and do that kind of stuff. So look out for that kind of thing. And then you get something like this, like the you get all of the what is it, the boomers, right? And their old PRSs from like the '90s and early 2000s are like very rare, very awesome color, limited edition. Like you see this 2019 here, 3,700 bucks. I love PRSs a lot of the times, but not all the time. But I do love them. How can you spend 3,700 bucks on a guitar pretty easily? Like the Aristides stuff, if you guys haven't heard of that, is as well like pretty gnar and those are like forty five hundred dollars so it's kind of crazy i don't know if you guys if anybody watching if you're listening to how i'm talking about very expensive guitars please walk me through the process of why someone would spend four thousand dollars on a guitar i don't get it but well, let's see here uh, what else so recently i've also been on the hunt for a a small desktop interface that's pretty decent i'm looking at the the uad stuff the apollo series maybe the twin or the arrow or the quad solo or whatever they call it um occasionally you'll find some on here oh yeah oh my gosh speaking of this this prototype this has been sitting here for literally forever it says posted six days ago this thing has been posted and reposted two dozen times for s upwards of 6500 usually but it's insane i don't know what makes this so crazy like it's got a prototype written on it a narrow field pickups cool case i guess there's some history there right Cool color, but yeah, I don't know. Doesn't strike me. It's got Brazilian rosewood, no holes in your Brazilian board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flame maple cross grain neck. So I'm assuming that's what this looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, again, not six thousand dollars. I don't know. Okay, more kids are interrupting. Hey, no. Come on. Oh my gosh, we're back. Oh gosh. Out, please. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, oh come on. Is that better? Can you see me? You can see me now, right? Okay, cool. Oh, all right, what else? Same thing. Beware. This this dataless acoustic amp studio thing in the center here. That's been up for literally a year. No one's touched it. And the guy hasn't budged in price, which is what's crazy. The dude is literally still asking $1,200 almost a year later. <laughs> like, that's insane to me. What else we got here? Oh, another thing. Check this out. If you guys probably know this already, but pianos are a big deal on Craigslist. <laughs> Oh, what up, Max? No, man, if you want to go, it's cool. I'm just kind of cruising along Craigslist here. If you got anything you uh, you want to do or talk about, hit it in the chat. I'm down. But I'm just going over just random stuff, how I go over Craigslist and stuff. If you got any ways that you go over Craigslist, shoot them in the chat. I'll be down. Just trying to look for deals and maybe some cool stuff. I'm not sure. But you're definitely not a dick if you click away. I, I appreciate you watching for a bit. Uh, what else we got? Some walrus stuff. The dark, the iron horse is pretty cool. Where is this? This is all San Diego, okay. <laughs> uh, Debbie Ever Rocket Fuzz. Debbie Ever's got some cool stuff. They've got some. The, now, big thing too is you guys like doing second hand. That's cool. But I recently I've been just I don't know what it is. I feel good about buying directly from the brands if you can. I know it's new prices and whatever else, but a lot of times you're the secondhand market isn't really helping out the, the the builder too much because it's already he's already made their or they have already made their money off of it, but it helps keep the builders good doing what they're doing, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Max? You know what I mean. So yeah, but I don't know, crazy stuff here. What else we got? Uh Silgen, drum hardware. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I've been trying to build that six piece that three up, two down. Uh, drum kit and I need more hardware to do it so looking at play pages like the hardware and drum mounts and all that other stuff are usually pretty helpful let's see here uh... <laughs> put user in timeout that's funny let's chill away Right, let's see here. Ron Kern Pine Telecaster Barn Buster. Okay. What else we got here? Yep, 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 yep. Federal Custom Shop. Okay. No big deal. Uh, what else we got? Trumpet Case. Uh, also, too, recently it's been kind of just like dead on Craigslist. I, you, it, there was a time where there was a bunch of cool things popping up all the time, but... Just recently, there's been just a lot of the same gear not selling, so it is what it is. More drum hardware, as you can see, pretty cool. Pearl two-sided aluminum rack, 325. You're not going to make any money on that. That's basically how much they go for, almost brand new. But he's got a couple extra of the cymbal mounts on there, you can see. So that's a thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Organ, same thing. No one wants to transport them. Everyone wants to give them away or sell them, so that's the way it works. What else we got? There's another thing. Vintage Slingerland drum kits. They end up going for, <laughs> like, a lots of money. And honestly, I, I was talking to one of my friends after a show before COVID, and he, w he had a 70s Ludwig, or 60s Ludwig, actually, and he was saying that, man, they are not worth the time and investment because a lot of times the shells were warped because they're so old if they didn't have re-rings and all that other stuff, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's see, 85 drummer is always in the best shape. The spot I go to go huge bins, huge software, and then five bucks. What? Five bucks? Like per piece? Where are you, and can you find me certain things that I need? <laughs> uh, that's great. Dude, five bucks? That's great, dude. That's awesome. That's a, that's a good find. You need people like that that just like shoot you with the deals. That's great. Oh, what else? We got the George Lynch Kamikaze. The Lynch box half stack. Man. Hey, that's where uh, that's close to me. Nice. What else we got here? Marshall Code foot switch. Anybody know the deal with the stuff? Huh. All right. Marshall Code fifty. What is the deal with these? People, it's a pawn shop. Okay. Bluetooth enabled. 
What is that? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, what else we got? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, the base fly rig. These things are really cool. I sold a lot of them. Oh, drum center. Dude, of course. In New Hampshire. That's one drum shop. There's like Bentley's I want to go to. And there's Drum Center of Portsmouth, right? The Drum Center of New Hampshire. Super sick drums. They have amazing, amazing quality on uh, on their social medias. I love looking at all their cool gear they got there. Well, that's if I ever do make it to New Hampshire. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring. We'll go drum hardware picking. Oh, let's see here. Ooh, okay. So these are, this is a pretty good deal, actually. These go for a little bit more normally. Um, probably updated. So, yeah, might not be selling, but <clears throat> normally the, so this is essentially, it's like a MIDI controller for your, uh, like, amp modelers. So I have an 11 rack by Avid, which, which is one of the first, like, it was almost pre-Axe effects, I think. It was an amp modeler. So you could do a whole bunch of crazy stuff and add, like, presets and 10 different amp models bunch of different pedals you can change the order just like you can on all the regular ant modelers now but it was one of the first ones to do it uh, aside from line six obviously uh, but anyways so the cool thing is you can make your presets and the ground control is one of the most brought up names when you're looking for cheap ways to control those things and 200 bucks yeah you could probably make some money on it honestly you could probably make 50 bucks on it easily if it's in brand new I mean yeah that's a thing I'm going to go for new new because I know you can still buy those, but I don't know. What else? Now, cool thing. So like this stuff, like the Aria Acoustics, a lot of times you'll have these uh, brands like Martin will have their like sub kind of import brands called like one of theirs is called Sigma and they're slept on heavily. They're like, oh, Sigma, it's not a Martin, but it's basically made by Martin and it's a fifth the price. So if you ever find a Sigma and it's in good shape and you like the, the, the model, definitely pick one up because they all, all of the ones that I've played have sound great. And they are very warm and full, just like your regular Martins that you'd play that are two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. But, you know, slightly different, obviously. Um, let's see what else. More pink cellos. That's fun. Oh, yeah, more drum. Uh, Pro, Road Pro. I actually have a Road Pro snare stand. So those are pretty great. Um, they're really solid, but I like all, I like using all DW hardware just cause it's uniform and I like their, uh, you know, pricing. Ah, there we go. So the, you get funny things like this, right? Where you're going to see things like a drum cymbal cleaning unit for 40 bucks. Literally, I'm pretty sure this dude put, what's it? I don't even think, I don't even think there's anything in it. Yeah. It's literally just a box with a hole in it and you put your cymbal in there and it doesn't get dirty everywhere else that's pretty crazy but 40 bucks you could probably build that something cheaper you know what I mean just get four things of plywood in the bottom and you have one of these arms laying around nothing crazy sometimes you get cool ideas you actually get to like get inspired and go make your own stuff if you see it on here uh, of course you got all the pawn shop stuff yeah 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 yeah. the 2008 so the classics, apparently they're very sought after in the, the 90s, like 1990 specifically when they came out, um, because the dis indistinguishable characteristics of those versus like the higher end ones that were, you know, ha double the price um, was pretty close. The disparity wasn't very big. So you could get very pro level Les Paul uh, in the classic series for a lot less money than you could buying an expensive one, which is crazy. Uh, but then you get things like this. Pretty dope. The Custom Shop ES-339. I'm a 339 kind of guy. 35. It's too big. Um, not my favorite, but you know. <laughs> Piano pieces for adult beginners. Wonder what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, same thing. Look at this. A $5 tuner. I guess if you need a tuner and you got a $5 bill in your hands, go for it. Uh, another big thing is band and orchestra instruments. If you guys were here earlier, it's just... My gosh, there's so many band and orchestra instruments. Okay, what else? What else we got? Keyboards. Da, da, da. I've seen these before. More a thirteen thousand dollar piano. If any of you are interested, pretty cool. What else we got? Taylor four ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you'll notice there's a lot of funny stuff where people just try and sell whatever they want on here, and it's just like not everything has value. You know what I mean? Um, oh yeah. So here's the thing for all you guitar players out there. If you're looking for a great guitar 
that's not going to break the bank. They're climbing in price, but the late 80s uh, Squires made in Japan. So not India. This uh, It's rare, yes, but it's not going to be nearly as good quality control as the Japanese ones. But if you can get a made in Japan Squire, like Stratocaster or the Telecasters that were made then, um, amazing deals. And like I, they're pretty much going for like five or six hundred bucks where I'm at. And uh, it's I, we almost jumped on a couple. There was like a time where like bunch were going on. It was just firing on all cylinders on Craigslist, but we didn't end up picking them up. So well, could have made money, but oh well. What else we got here? Yeah, TLM. Headstands. Let's see. Here. What do we got? Fader Port Two. Yeah, those are okay, I guess. Oh, if you guys follow Satellite Amps, this Epiphone Coronet. This whole, the satellite coronets, they're coming back, right? They're making them, and Gibson was suing him because they uh, they haven't made them in 20 years, 30 years. And they were like, you can't do that, even though the patent we don't hold anymore. I don't get it. So go go check out Satellite Amps or look it up on Google. You'll find uh, the whole crazy thing going on. Well, let's see here. What else? I don't know. If you're, if you're still there, Max... It's kind of boring at the moment. Let's see more drum hardware. I like cool stuff. Be aware, don't ever buy used sticks. That's such a scam. I don't know why people do that. Uh, three bucks a pair. Bleh. Don't do it. Buy new sticks. Uh, what else? More wedding do wedding DJs. There we go. Who's having weddings? Symbol sale. Oh. Fun fact, I, I found a deal like this, the Signet series. They're USA-made um, Ludwig drums, but they're like bop, they're almost like bop sizes. So it's like an, a 16 by 20 or 18 by 20 kick, um, and it comes with like, you know, rack, rack, floor. But the thing is, as you can see, it's a virgin kick again. So that's what it is. But ended up, I ended up buying it for 200 bucks. My wife found it actually on Craigslist or marketplace wherever it was we drove up to orange county to get it and almost spilled our beans that we were going to resell it because the guy was like there's a guy you're you gonna play it? i'm like yeah no i might buy it you know play it resell it whatever and i was like <laughs> he kind of was like oh you're you buy and sell too i was like no i'm not not really just kind of backpedaling as i could to get out of it but whatever it's all right ended up making 400 bucks profit on it dope and they sounded good. I played a gig with it. It sounded pretty good. Let's see what else. Apex Bronx. Da, 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 da. Let's see. I don't know. A lot of keyboard stuff. A lot of live sound stuff. Other weird things. If you need a Glockenspiel, Pearl Bell Kit. There you go. 100 bucks. What else we got here? Uh, $5,000 classical guitar. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like there's a ton of stuff right now. Let's go to big things. So wherever you guys are, if you know of, oh, let's see here. <laughs> so yeah, it's Max. Yeah, my search parameters. Honestly, like I talked about at the very beginning, but basically, um, if it's something that's a good deal, I'll if it's within within a hundred miles is my my kind of go to. I don't like having people ship me stuff on Craigslist. I've done it once for a camera lens. It was actually something like this. You can see this was like it was like a fifty dollar vintage lens for my Canon camera, but and it was like normally they're like a hundred plus dollars, and I was like okay, ship it to me. But he lived in like twenty miles away, thirty miles away. But yeah, I do live in a city, and uh, I just search within a hundred miles. So depends on what you're uh, what you're getting. At, I guess I don't know okay so a big thing is is if wherever you live if there's like the boonies right like for us it's a uh, um, inland empire and like sometimes there's some ghetto Los Angeles cities like areas included in that but if you're looking for stuff that is just like in the boonies and people are just like trying to get rid of stuff they don't really know what they have uh, I found more better m more better I found better deals in these boonie areas than I have in crowded main cities and stuff like that. So if you're looking at um, all that stuff, look in the boonies. you find some cool stuff. Let's see here, what we got here. Let's see. 
more strats. Gibson SG Standard. Got this Les Paul Custom. I've got a 2020 Epiphone Les Paul Custom. That's kind of dope. Some thick. Pretty cool. I can dig this. Great. If you guys haven't checked out the 2020 line of Les Pauls or uh, anything from Epiphone 2020, go check it out. They are dope. Let's see here. What else we got? Uh, vintage synthesizer. Don't need it. This is a, what is the JCM 2000 DSL? Yeah, eh. I like the cab, but the DSLs weren't my favorite. Let's see here. What else we got? Uh, PRS again. There we go. JCM 800 combo. Two grand? Oh my gosh. This is what I also don't understand, is the the 800 or 900, the 900 actually is a lot cheaper than the 800, because the JCM 800 was like, oh, that was the one that everyone wanted um, for XYZ reasons, but the 900 is pretty dope, but yeah, when this, people slept on this combo, they're like, oh, it's a combo, I'm like, the thing screamed, it's literally just the same gnarliness as the head, so yeah, that's the thing. Ooh, zero dollars, what does he want for it? Let me guess. Make an offer. Name your price. That's what I thought. It's not a bad deal. I mean, honestly. Let's see what else. You got the opt amounts. Cool. So it's what? 10, 12, 16 rocks. Your uh, weird standard fusion rock sizes. 22 inch kick, I'm assuming. There you go. Yeah, 10, 12, 16. Cool. I don't, know, I don't know. Probably, I don't, I'd probably offer this guy 500 bucks if he took it. That's a cool thing. Um, Masters Maple. I've got a Masters Maple snare sitting back there, and they're pretty dope. So, but he's got bills to feed, babies to pay, whatever that means. So, uh, offer the guy some money, and then you spend 500 bucks. Probably make 200 bucks on it. Offer him 450. Make 250 on it. Um, that's the thing that happens sometimes. What else we got? Ooh, master recorder. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see what else. Let me know if I'm talking too much. You guys want to talk about different stuff. I'm down. I'm just seeing it as I see it and talking about it. Wow, that looks intense. The Power 750. Wow. It's pretty crazy. Sweet. All right, man. Appreciate it, Max. I appreciate the sub, dude. Rock on, bro. Have a good night. We'll do it again soon. All right. Jackson 7-string. Alesis Strike Pro, I'm assuming. Yep. $2,000. That's a lot. I don't know. All right. Let's keep scrolling. What do you got here? Da -da 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 -da. Free floater. 325 Yeah, that's about what you're going to pay for them. Um, but dang it. Like I said, negotiate. Every time, never pay full price for anything on Craigslist, ever. Always offer lower than what they're asking. End of story. <laughs> Blues Deluxe, Pathfinder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Test few drums, what else we got? I don't know. All right, cool. All right, well, that's the thing. So, yeah, nothing else really here striking my fancy. Nothing worth looking at deals-wise. Uh, 7 yeah, I don't know. MFVs are pretty dope. 800 bucks is what you're going to pay for them, though. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, everybody, thanks for tuning in to my first Craigslist hunt. We'll do it again soon. Tell your friends about it. I love to just talking about stuff and going over cool things and finding gear. And who knows, maybe I'll strike some gold and hit somebody up and buy some stuff. That's the whole point, right? <laughs> so, if you guys want, I'd much appreciate the subs. We're doing this thing regular. I've got demos we've got podcast episodes i've got playthroughs music gear everything i do all of that stuff so um hit it heavy you guys will be seeing a lot more from me soon so anyways hope you guys are having a great night and we'll uh we'll see you again soon all right peace